Great. Today I'm going to talk about the German tea cabinet. This is just one example of the German tea cabinet and we call this door. Let us How do we invite the child to work with the German tree cabinet? The first thing is inviting child. So you should call the child with a name and you should say, for example, Sabina, today I have something interesting to show you. Invite the child to the German tree cabinet and show how to take the dog. And then you place the door back to its place and you ask the child to get the same way as you did and take it any table she wants. Let's go. You have to remember that as a teacher you have to be on the right side of the child all the time so the child can see all your actions uh, and you're showing in presentation and the most important thing is that you remember that you're not teaching you're just guiding them okay this is the simple door you have to start with the children it's the simplest one and as they progress they can move to the other doors as well um, so we have just three simple shapes here the first thing we have to take off from their places and then to places and then you look up any shape you want inside this square. We just demonstrated this way because you have to remember that the child is sitting nearby you on the right side, and children should see the right red, the colored part of the pattern. So, and then you take your index finger and the forehead finger, two middle fingers, and you start tracing this at least four and five times. Once you fill that shape, the second thing is you have to fill the place of the shape. You place it back, you keep it with your hand, and you start filling the shape. The same fingers. And then you place it to back to its place. You should continue the same way with the rest of the shapes.